Thanks, Steve. I don't see it. My aunt just told me that this morning. She said, you're a fighter. You've always been a fighter. But when you've been knocked down so many times and you've already gone to your family so many times, it's like, why does this keep happening to me? You can just feel that woman's pain, and she knows some heartbreak all too well. The 2016 flood, as bad as it was, turned out to be just the beginning for that woman who lives on Old Hammond Highway. A storm earlier this month sent things spiraling again, and now the family is asking for help. Ethan Tuttle is there tonight. A beautiful day. Jalen Ruiz planned to spend the afternoon in the pool with her daughter. It was about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Then the clouds began to gather over her home. All of a sudden, uh, I heard what sounded like an explosion, and I don't know what it was. Again, I, I was just waiting for something to happen, and all of a sudden, the debris started hitting me. The debris was her roof caving in, a tree collapsing into her home, causing catastrophic damage. All I could do was protect myself, but yet I wanted to get to my son, but I couldn't get through what was coming at me. So all I could do was save myself and uh, pray that he was okay. Jerilyn began working her way through the maze of a mess in search of her autistic adult son, Jared. I crawled underneath the tree on the other side of the bar and um, got to the room where he was because the tree fell between us. It could have very well hit him, but it hit a beam and rolled. But he was okay. He was in shock. Um, he was quiet. His eyes were real big, like he didn't know what had happened either. Watch where you walk in first, and then I'll show it to you. That's where the tree fell in, right there where you were sitting. That's what happened. But we got to fix that before we can get home, okay? Okay? Okay. It's not the first time Geraldine has had to rebuild. She says repairs after the 2016 flood took her life savings, and there's nothing left to fix this. I got you. This has been their reality for two weeks now. Spent so much time and love and money on this house, and it's just, it was gone. But everything that's happened to me is so out of budget right now that I, I don't have anything left. I don't have anything left. And I'm really trying, Ethan. For now, she and Jared have a place to stay. Get back home. He said, get back home. <laughs> but it's not home. I raised these babies by myself, and I was proud of that. I never reached out to anyone. I was self-sufficient. There's no pieces to pick up at this point without the act of kindness of some stranger or God's angels. Hopefully this story is able to reach some angels. Right now, Geraldine's daughters have a GoFundMe set up to help keep their mother in good care. If you'd care to help, you can find that GoFundMe link on our 9 News app. Greg and Elizabeth will keep you posted. All right, Ethan, thank you for sharing their story. We certainly appreciate it. Hope she gets some help indeed. Thank you. Absolutely.